start because we made a commitment to our fans. Is that too strong? Well, too I'm small. just going to bug you in 20 minutes. 1.5. Start the stream, baby. You got HD? Where's Kev? I should not be on uh, what? what? Oh, you don't have your headphones. What's I'm about to do? No. Take off your leather hat. You're fucking wearing oh, sorry, Eddie Murphy's Mike, no suit HD on your tonight. hat. Just cheese, ladies. Just cheese is perfect. Alright, we are... He can go fuck himself. It says we are live right now. The internet can totally see us. That's what it says. So that means we need to get this show started, people. Pressure's on. Yeah, it is. A lot of pressure. How do we relieve pressure? <laughs> do we stroke it away? Well, there's there's many different ways. There is many different ways, and one way is I to stroke four count and do it. I keep falling in love with the live and cool song. You guys ready? Let's do this shit. You guys ready? AJ. All, all we, of us. Everybody AJ, in at once. Can you pick me up Everybody tomorrow morning? Oh, all of us? All right, let's all do this. All right. AJ's like, nope. Oh. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think here sometimes I sit around the life of the Dutch Hall Studios in my backyard pool shed a little bit too much. I sit there as almost I'm just like a head in a jar, you know? I'm just sitting there and the whole universe is just going on around me through the internet, space and time. And then I realize, you know, Pete, you gotta get out more. You really gotta get something to do. Because if you think too much, you're going to go fucking crazy. Well, today we got a lot of great guests. We got a super fan. We've got a, a drummer with a new nickname. Paul Ruin already. Ruin, that's great. We got a tribute. We got a live celebrity call-in feedback. I don't know how you do that in the middle of it. But there's only one way to get to it, boys. You know what that is? What is that, Pete? A theme song. Too hard. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome here, people at home in the listening universe, to live from the Dutch Hall, you Canada's only late night pot or late night talk show, and the only ever and the best podcast ever come out of Pool Shed in Pine Grove, Ontario, on bar none. And I believe we are that way because we have the greatest band in Canadian late night history, the Nocturnal Emissions, everybody. Let's hear it for them. Oh, I like it. It's a hot crowd tonight. Ah. Ah. This week, the comprise of our band 
leader, the beautiful Michael Bow on rhythm and vocal. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Sitting in the middle tonight, waving at Willie. He's the man on lead guitar. Willie. Steve the Reluctant German, everyone. Steve! Hey. Hey. And the balls are back, I say. The balls of the nocturnal missions are exactly where they should be. Controlled by the majestic, like a like a gazelle. Whiskey Wes Higgins, everyone. Hey, yeah. Get that whiskey in you. And sitting in a very honorable chair beside Whiskey West tonight is a super fan. Oh, oh no, it's no super fan. She became a shareholder today by giving us gifts. That's all you have to do to become a super fan. A nice yeah. bottle of whiskey. Laura Collins is here. Let's hear it for everyone. Off, girl. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. And the drummer of the Nocturnal Emissions, tickling the skin. Ladies and gentlemen, the French Tickler. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Belanger is here. Hey. <laughs> and we got a live studio audience today with a couple of great guys. And, uh, and they happen to be family members as well. So they're going to judge me. And I like it. <laughs> we like to hear, let's hear for Wes and Mark. They're here hey, today, everyone. Yeah, yeah. And our director, our bus driver, my brother. What else do you do for us, Paul? He's you need to serve us drinks tonight. He's a coach. <laughs> He's a coach? He's done a lot of things. Fuck him, hockey coach. Yeah. Paul Van Dyke is here. Hey, let's hear it for him. We're very fortunate to have our guests here tonight. They're very well known to the live from the Dutch Hall audience. And uh, there happen to be two, three great comedians that are touring all over the place. Yeah, you got very, very honored to have them back in the Dutch Hall. They're promoting their new show. It's, Thurs it's the first Thursday at Yuck Yucks in Hamilton. May 3rd. May 3rd is their very first, first show. We're going to make sure we give you the details. They're back again. Co-host Joe Bathello, AJ Bates, and Michael Moses. And now, and now introducing a host from live from the Dutch Hall. It's two-time president, two -time. Two -time. President's Club Award winner, Pete Van Dyke. Yeah. Very good, Paul. <laughs> Improvement from last week. I well, like you it. wrote it fucking down for me. I said pause. You just one of the pauses. You were worried about your slits. Yeah. <laughs> I can't read, Pete. Yeah, I was in a scribble team. <laughs> yeah. I thought you did really well. Yeah. That was the best one yet of introduction. It's like you're Paul Schaefer. <laughs> mm. Which brings me to look at Joe on the couch. Look at we're in the same shot, Joe. This is the first time I've had like an honest to God co host <laughs> like uh, Andy Richter or uh, I, I don't think they're any, they ever are allowed to touch. Uh, is, it, is it like weird though because like I don't think they're ever this is like Andy Andy wanted Conan's job, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is what, Andy was like happy, but Joe. Yeah, he'd take over. I take over. I take over the family. Like, I take over everything. Like, yeah, you wouldn't be a good. You wouldn't be a, a good sidekick. You know? No, 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 he's I'm trying to take your like steal your, steal your like shining light. Yeah, I'm like uh, with the single. There's a lot of lights you could have went with. <laughs> I know. I went with the shining one. Your shining, uh, I know. Thunder, it's your kind of redundant. It's kind of redundant to say just, shining just light. I'll steal everything. That's what you. Say. Anyways, let's move on with people. Yeah. Did you know th this is a very exciting show because we have the very first ever. Like uh, celebrity feedback, Ooh, which we never got. Celebrity feedback. So normally we'll go like 20 minutes, then we'll get into a segment called feedback. We got feedback. Right? We'll feedback. still do this. This is different. This is celebrity feedback. Celebrity feedback. Yeah. So if we, hey, look how I like how when Mike said it, you didn't do it, because that's not how the power works. The power works only when I say it. So then. Uh, so, no, I'm just kidding. But then uh, that's not how it what? works. We're gonna guess who it is. You want to guess who this guy is? I don't think he oh, could. It's a guy. He just, uh, oh, it is a man. Oh, it is a man. Oh, it is a man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go, Joe. Go nuts. Who do you who do you think it is? I think it's uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. It's also an audio feedback. Does that help you? Audio feedback. Audio feedback. Yes, who? Is that the uh, local weatherman. No. This guy's world famous. Jake Campbell. World famous. From Canada? Uh, no. no. No, not Canadian. Oh, wow. Nice. Worked in Canada. 
Uh, no, well, I don't know. He knows. No, seems to that, have inside that, knowledge of the show. The kind of fame, like a athlete, like a like a Bruce Jenner. Uh, well, uh, you're cold. <laughs> like a triathlon. <laughs> like a I would triathlete? say, I would say that this person would do very poorly yeah. in any sort of uh, of those events. Oh, Meatloaf. I know Stephen Hawking. Meatloaf. That porn star. Stephen Hawking. Well, did I, did I ruin it for you? No, no, I'm not uh, saying. Oh, well, we'll see. You can. Well, I'm just saying, Joe, you made your sure. pick. Let's for sure, I did. Yeah. Shit. Oh. It's, it's, kind of, <laughs> uh, it's kind of your thing, right? Uh, I ruined everything. Stop the word. Why is that ruining it? Why is that ruining I it? Guess I'm so good at stuff. It is Stephen Hawking. Let's play it. Let's see what he says. Oh, oh you oh, nailed shit. it. God damn it. Technology sucks. Hello. I probably won't How get did it you know? The voice. Hello, That's Pete. Thank you for your at all. Hello. Your wife is very Here we go. What do you want to say? I have surpassed Shut the confines of your world and circumvented the outer rims of your physical reality. What the hell? Just to congratulate Jane Van Dyke for winning the live from the Dutch Hall 2018 <laughs> death pool. <laughs> what? Way to go. That bullshit, Stephen Hawking. Jane has claimed half of the prize for calling the first death. The second half of the pot will go to the Dutch Hall and she correctly guesses the Somebody most deaths in 2018. Luckily, <laughs> for the, the rest of the gang, it's fucked up, there is dude. not some time yeah, left to catch right up. Now, I have one last important thing to say to the world before I leave forever. Fuck Chargers. <laughs> Laser bitches, talking out. Wow. I don't know if you guys can hear could hear that. <laughs> Stephen Hawkins is kind of a little bit when rude. I was, Stephen, I was like, yeah. you bullshit, you give away what we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> But he is, he is quite quite uh, aware of our death pool. In fact, oh Jane, you are the uh, were the person. My wife, Jane Van Dyke, was the person that picked Stephen Woo! Hawking in the death pool. And as the rules of the of the death pool go, is that uh, the Dutch uh, first to die gets uh, five bucks from each of the competitors. So that's five bucks for you, Jane, from nine people. So forty five dollars in Man. your pocket. Bala, bala, bala. Nailed it. Yes, Yo. all because. All because you 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 uh, profited from the death of a genius. <laughs> yeah. I hope you can sleep with yourself at night. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy your winnings, Jane. Can, can you really stare up the stare up? I know you were going to say, don't say that. Huh? Can you really stare up yeah, the stars? You, gonna, you know what I was going to say. I know you're going to say it. If you're not going <laughs> to say it, then don't say it in the microphone. You and AJ go make out outside the Dutch Hall. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, down. thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, say you know. it. I always say it. That's the you whole know, point of the show. You, know, you guys just stare in your other, each other's eyes all night and say like, "Oh, I'm not going to say it. You say it." Well, th well, you yeah, well, you know what? You, you know what, Joe, Pete? You know what, Pete? I was protecting your pride and honor as a man, but you know what? Fuck it. Go ahead and say what you want to say. She doesn't have to sleep alone. Yeah, so there you go. You're well, are you going to hold that back that you want to sleep with my wife? No, but uh, I, I thought let let you own the moment. You own you own the moment. No. You know what? Joe's a good friend of mine because Joe's told me since I very first met him, the very first time, or I should say the very first time he met my wife, yeah. Joe's told me that he's wanted to fuck my wife <laughs> ever since the beginning. And that's a good friend because he doesn't lie to me. Nope, he tells never. me the truth. And then, You're uh, funny too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time believing that one. That's. But, but you do say I'm funny. You are funny. I think you're funny. Do, do you laugh at my jokes? Yeah. Yeah. Not last night, but then I, AJ kicked my ass. That's when I did. Yeah, AJ's better than, AJ's better than me well, last know. night. Yeah. AJ did kick my ass last night. Yuck, go yuck yourself contest. I should give him some props because he did well. But Moved on to the finals. Yeah. That's why he's big ups to AJ. Yeah. 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 This dude, AJ? yo, kills in water down every yeah. time. Dude, and he, kills and in water down. Yeah, he's a water down champ. Like he's on every show in water down. Like yeah, but you know. People ask for him to go back to his show. Yeah. So, water down yeah. loves Marvel. Libyans. They love <laughs> Libyans. <laughs> Canadian Blonde Society of Waterdown. Yeah. Is there like a history of Caribbean comics just slaying in the... In Libya. <laughs> or in uh, Waterdown. Oh, yeah, well, that, that, that yeah. too. I mean, like, <laughs> it goes both ways. Like... In Libya, yeah. The yeah. Libyan comics do well. Is there, is there a Libyan comedy scene? Uh, no. No? No. <laughs> no free speech scene. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> funny over there. Yeah, Nothing's so. funny over there. Ain't nothing funny about living there. No. Nope. AJ, this is this is way off topic, but I read it today. Yeah, it was talking about uh, Muslim etiquette. Yeah, that uh, like. <laughs> deep breath, did you hear that? <laughs> and it was and it was talking about. I was like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was talking Border mostly. Control. It was talking mostly about um uh like uh, hygiene. Yeah, and they're saying that like uh, a lot of like guys who are like uh like Westernized Muslims will like hide some of the 
the traditional things that they have uh, mm-hmm. to like uh, mostly to clean your ass. Yeah. Like you have, do you use like a watering can? Yeah, I do. Yeah, what's it called? And no, I just no, I don't like it's. It's not like a specific thing. It's just like a plastic water bottle. I just fill it up from like a water. I, listen, dude, it's like a douche. Here's it. I, I tried. Right I tried. I tried. I tried. I swear, I got. I tried tissues, and I don't know how you guys do it, but like it doesn't work for me. So yeah, but this is this to me is very interesting because, yeah. but they, like, what? I have to wash my asshole every time I take a shit I in Japan. To. But that's yeah. cleaner asshole. Like, it's it's definitely all, cleaner. Yeah, but I just. Well, there's so much hairier in the deal. But that has nothing to do with the. No, no, no. What's no, that? I mean, no the what girls. I'm wondering is why we What I'm really wondering is why we don't wash our asses with a with a high pressured hose. Or something wet, at least. Yeah, something dry. Wet. Anything. Uh, yeah, man. Well, real men use dry stuff to wipe their ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's how like you get. But I'm, no, I'm yeah, saying like we did that. We just we just like, have a paper. Yeah. That we wipe our ass with, and then we sh- t- shove it in the toilet. Yeah. When I went to Costa Rica, they didn't even have uh, they they didn't even want you to put it in the toilet. You had to put it in a garbage can uh, with a lid on it. That's nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. Well, why wouldn't you just get a hose and like fire it up? Exactly. Like the, the Japanese do, and apparently all you guys do it too. And yeah, we do. No, we do. Bet, no, we do. We do. We've never had a hemorrhoid. Uh, no. Like yes, and uh, because here's the thing. I tried doing with a napkin, like a dry one, and I got a hemorrhoid for like exactly. I had I suffered from it for it's two weeks. It's called toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. What did I call it? <laughs> I call it a napkin. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not from this country. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, you probably never got a hemorrhoid. I bet nobody over there. Yeah. Even a sanitary napkin is not to wipe your ass with. It's, it's not good, man. It's, it's nice. for the ladies. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. 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 The little wet naps. Those are good too. For what? The little wet. Oh, wet naps are great, no matter what. That's too thin. That's one of those things when you have. Yeah, you gotta fold. You gotta fold that. Like nap, four times at yeah. least. Yeah, no, but even if you fold it, wet four times. You got yeah, but no. sometimes you want the feeling of, a, of your finger. Size of no. material. Wet naps are for the end. Yeah, you already yeah, got yeah, a clean ass, okay, then you yeah. give it a nice. Or you like, layer it. You layer it. it. That's what I think, at least. If That's the way I was raised. <laughs> but you know, when you have kids, like you, Steve, you got little, you got, got little kids, wipes. right? So you got baby wipes around. Every once in a while, you got one of those wipers that you can't finish. It's just like Jesus. Or, or yeah. if you're poor, then the sink is very close to the toilet, so yeah. you can just. You know, turn it you on. You know what's the weirdest? The toilet paper, get it wet, and then. My wife used a baby wipe on her vagina, and it was going to go down on her, and I was like, oh, I can't do this. This is just too weird. Because the, the baby wipe. The smell there? of the baby wipe made it really weird. So I had to, I'm like, go in and just wash your <laughs> fucking butt. No, that was real. Exactly, okay. exactly. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Like, no, that was real. I you was just so, ruined me was, going down on you. Like, yeah, I was, I was like, this to. is weird. I can't do this. Like, I can't do it. You have to go wash yourself with a. a Start a the 10 year clock again because I'm not yeah, doing it again. I, you out. Like, I would yeah. love to. I love eating girls out. Like, it's amazing. Girls are your wife, um, dude. I have yeah. a wife. I love eating my, my wife out. Looks like the girl. Never mind. Anyways, I love eating girls out. I mean, it's my favorite thing. He puts his hand up like, I'm a. Yo, one first. Yeah, but if you're eating a girl out and you smell something that's not very sexy, it's like watching a porno and listening to like babies crying as the soundtrack. <laughs> it's like not, I, it's something like. Ever, Ugh. Did you ever fu- any pe- fathers here fuck with their babies in the room in the, in the room? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Did you ever do that? <laughs> no, that nobody weird. ever related with that. I thought it was weird because you're looking, you're fucking your wife, and then the baby. You're looking at your baby. <laughs> yeah, you're so <laughs> so you weird because you're like, is the baby alive still? And you're still fucking your wife, and you're like, is the baby alive? Still? But it doesn't matter because you're like a new baby. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're in the. You're months, already halfway and there. Then your wife sat for like six months. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> tough room, eh? I'm gonna unplug this buzzing thing. There you go. So uh, what we should do, uh, sorry, I want to talk about Stephen Hawking. I just want to talk about, we got the death pool out of the way. Jane's winning. Uh, so uh, congratulations to Jane. Well done, uh, Jane. Wait, I hope you can live well it yourself. Well done, Jane. And then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for profiting on my death. Go fuck yourself. It's like that, right? Wait, you, were, oh. you know, you know that uh, Stephen Hawking had more sex than me and Joe. Um, <laughs> Yo, with more partners. Combined, no, with more partners than us. He had more partners than me and Joe combined. Like, and that's no, that's like not even. That's after like the wheelchair too. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. like yeah. before the wheelchair. It was like still yeah. post you, but post ALS. Yeah, that was yeah. post ALS, like, baby. You don't fuck. You don't yeah. marry the first And he was fuck. probably better in bed, too. No, he wasn't. That's the There's thing. No way he when was. he became, like, one of those, There's like, no just, way. like, walking heads with the four teeth coming out of it, like, they, 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 they <laughs> roll around, still, he still got more pussy than Joe and I combined. He had four girls on each of those yeah. teeth. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I don't think he 
think he's better at sex than us. <laughs> he's got well, some not, machinery not that just. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet you comes out of the bottom of his chair. No, but but I stay hard and then fall to the side. She finishes herself. What? Yeah, see, these girls didn't have to finish themselves. Yeah, they had to Steven. do the whole thing from beginning to end. <laughs> no, I uh, bet you that. He didn't go on top. The machine doesn't go up and then around and turn. <laughs> He's you know, got some fucked up. And does he, the wheelchair you, you in the think, wheelchair? Snakey Joker? robotic Joker? arms. Joe, Joe. Jo. <laughs> he's got those. He, yeah, he's got like this guy sits in a chair and thinks about how to get pussy yeah. all day long, yeah. and the universe, and the universe. How too. can I possibly make this easier? Yeah, yeah. For sure. he's invented the the most like artificially intelligent dick that there is. Oh, 100%. Uh, right? Like wait, his dick this thing pops out of his his pants. That's a <laughs> Yeah, like go go ga- go go <laughs> the gadget dick, you know, and it comes out of his pants and freaking tickles and and Yo, uh, lubricates. He's got more than hey, one. Don't be don't be mad that he had more sex with you. If a fake dick that don't I'm not mad at him. It's I'm like a super girl impressed. Masturbating with a dildo and she goes, I just had sex. With no. Yeah, that's a true. fake dick that doesn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, but he fi- he figured out how to have <laughs> Uh, that is that true. It's got to be his real dick. It's got to be. No, he figured yeah. out how to, how to have neural connection to multiple dicks. Oh, okay. okay. That's oh. how. Now, oh. never, mind. He's, he's never, like, mind. never mind. So, like, she so was getting fucked. Still. She was, like, getting fucked by the Matrix yeah. almost. Like, yeah. The tickler's so thinking at a high level. Well, mind. all of us were actually Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Oh, when oh. when oh. Stephen was ho- having sex, we were all having yeah. sex. Yeah. yeah. And that's a perfect time to go to a segment we call Feedback. We got feedback. We got feedback. Welcome to Feedback. We got feedback. This week's feedback is brought to you by our friends at Amazon. If you'd like to go to our website, livefromthedutchhall.com, and uh, click on any of those Amazon banners, you might have to shut off your ad blocker. You can do your shopping, and some of that money's going to come back and help the show. Also, Clean Flow. Hey. You know, favorite. You know, Clean Flow, what they did was uh, when they came on board to support us as our primary sponsor, Clean Flow told us that they own Charters. Charters was their bitch now. And since this time, Charters has done nothing. He's avoided again today. He's not on the show. We went up, but one thing he did do was because CleanFlow is, is also the founder, and the reason that Van Dyke Party Services happens is because of this, is because of CleanFlow. And I just want to say, we did our sorry, Lori, we did our training. Yeah, good training session. We did our training this weekend for Van Dyke Party Services, and once a year, what we do is we take all all the Van Dyke males. There's another session for the females. We like right. to split them up because it's a different training program. What's all together? We take the Van Dyke Cousins, we send the males, we send them to Niagara Falls this year. We told them, we, we want you to do is compete in an athletic event. We picked a hockey tournament. <laughs> what we wanted them to do is we wanted you to consume alcohol all weekend long. And then, uh, and then uh, we wanted you to just go out into the general public and just create whatever happened, right? See what's doing. Yes, and it turned out we, ho- <laughs> we, we like, took that hotel, which was the second year in, ho- in a row they let us sit in that hotel. Mm-hmm. And we had no respect for any of the rules at all. <laughs> It wasn't even like we tried for a second to be uh, within the rules. And even at the hockey tournament, the dressing room had all the rules on it. We broke we, them before we even got s- s- undressed. Yeah, we broke every rule except one, which was like <laughs> theft. Yeah, we, was didn't the only, steal we didn't anything. steal anybody's shit. Yeah. Everything else we did. And we, never, we won't steal. Ah, it's just rude. But we will ignore all your rules and blame it on the team before. <laughs> fill the full Why is there cigarette smoke all through the dressing room? It's like, that team before, I don't know. Bunch of prick jobs. Their teeth are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Bad lungs on them. Yeah, I would ask them. <laughs> it had nothing to do with us. Yeah, we skated through a cloud. Yeah, I like to think we were victorious in every way in that tournament, but uh, the score sheet said differently. <laughs> uh, we were victorious everywhere, but not on the ice. Not on the ice at all, but it was good. Uh, good fun. To, to, I never played that drunk before. Played hockey that drunk yeah, before. Yeah, Charter said the same. Yeah. I, we, we were warming up, and he says to me, uh, Mike, uh, I don't, I've never played hockey this drunk before. And I said, it's all about balance, buddy. Yeah. And he's sitting there just tipping back and forth. <laughs> Feed him a pass out front and warm up. Just wipes out, runs into the post. Yeah, lies on his back for about 10 minutes. <laughs> just lies there like a turtle laughing. Like, like an idiot, eh? And then when we went to... Uh, I, I I was like getting sick of the bar because I don't like people. Like uh, I vent. There's just too many people in there and stuff. And I was I just wanted a break, right? right. So I'm like I'm out of here, right? 
and then uh, Charles is having the best time of his he's life. He's having a great time. He's having the best time of his life. And so he's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm leaving. And, and uh, he goes, uh, okay, I just have to go to the bathroom. And then I like got the hell out of there so he didn't come with me. Because he was having so much fun, I didn't want to ruin it. He was having a great time. And he was annoying this whole women's hockey team or something <laughs> full of lesbians. <laughs> and then uh, he like really barking up the wrong tree. you know. And then uh, he ends up at uh, uh, Peppermint's. <laughs> no. Right? That's what, that's what he says. Right? Yeah. That's what he told me. Yeah. And he goes, he, well, what was it? He, and, uh, and, and like, I go, you mean mints, which is for the w- women's strip there, you know? And he goes, no, peppermints. Well, he went to the peppermints side. He went to the where they're like, uh, where, where the men's strip, right? Yeah. And With char- the girls' hockey team. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and Charters was like really ha- like, and he, like happy. We ended up getting, I walked an hour through the city, ended up at diff- two different casinos, and then came home. Just at the time Charters is opened the door, he's just in his underpants eating cold pizza and laughing about. After Pepper <laughs> After he went to a nice male strip club. <laughs> I think it was all closed. No big deal. Oh, yeah? It was closed? It was closed when we got there, I think. Oh, so Charters never got to see the cock he was after? <laughs> just got outside of it? Yeah, yeah, just got to smoke cigarettes with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're coming off shift. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a talk. I'm That's funny. Chef. If they were a bunch of lesbians, like you suggested, then they would be. I suggested. Or sorry, that <laughs> someone suggested, and then then uh, you would uh, they would like be going to a male strip club for what? They hate the sight of a dick, right? Yeah, that's what they said. Is why they had to go to Peppermint's is because it gave you both options. Oh, so if you wanted to look at the girls, you'd go upstairs or downstairs. Exactly. Oh, I see. Because they meant Peppermint thing. Yeah. I don't mind that club. It's questionable. The name really will get you. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of club are we going to here? Peppermints. Mm. Better than Jack's. Oh, no question there. Yeah. I just don't like, I uh, mean, I'm too old for a lot of shit. Anyways. How'd your body feel after hockey? Oh, great. Yeah? Yeah. Makes a difference to not be fat. We're 0-6 in two years. Yeah, that's not a good record. Fuck. We almost oh, won the last one. Yeah. It almost doesn't count. Anyways, Van Dyke Party Services. Don't live your life in regret. Brought to you by Green <laughs> Yeah, we're trained. We did put in a good performance. That was a good session. Every, like, I, 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 like, if I lied in bed sometimes, and I would just listen to my floor and what would happen, and all the commotion was always my cousins, right? So you'd hear them come in. You'd hear what's going on in the rooms. You'd hear, uh, other, you'd hear like, other strange people laughing. And then uh, you'd go to, an, even if you went on another floor, you'd walk, and you'd hear, like, familiar things coming out of it was just always like I think we, I think people would complain about our noise, and then we'd end up going into some of my cousins would, would end up like uh, going and partying with the people complaining. Yeah, the the one story it was spin it like somebody that. went down on a floor like we were all split up, right? We had like a couple rooms on one floor, a couple rooms on another floor, and somebody went down to like a floor we weren't on. Yeah, and they just heard somebody saying "My Jeffrey." Yeah, uh, uh, like a, a saying that's with known within our family so only. They, so he just went to the door, knocked. Yeah, in you go. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then all of a sudden, and then he decides to go to sleep in the girl's room. <laughs> Take off his pants and go have a nice little <laughs> slumber. Right? These women are like in their 50s. They're just like trying to have a nice, uh, you know, weekend away. To look at the seventh wonder of the world. Comfortable. They, what they had was the time of their life, Michael. <laughs> Cost them nothing. Anyways, uh, that's it for that. And then Yarmy Electric, as uh, you know, my cousin just came back from that weekend. Derek Yarmy, he's the proprietor of Yarmy Electric, and I'll tell you some, something: when his body is hurting, it's going to take him two, three weeks to recover. So I don't care if your house is sparking a bit. You're going to wait. You're going to let my cousin rest. Derek Yarmy doesn't give a fuck about your problems, okay? Yarmy Electric. If we don't get right the first time, we'll get right the second time. And if we don't get right the second time, you can get back. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Paul. Oh, you can go fuck yourself. He was there busy serving beer. He was oh, serving look at that. beer. Paul is doing so much work Thanks, today. Paul. So much. Hey, Paul, Thanks, I Paul. didn't even know if we were, <laughs> we, we, we mentioned Norpac. The beef people. Nailed because it. we if we don't mention Norpac. The beef people. Then why did they pay us money, Norpac? The beef people. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. That's all the commercials, right? And then, uh, so then feedback this week. <laughs> People went to live from the Dutch Hall Gmail dot com. What was that last one? A different pedal, Steve? Aggressive feedback. It's aggressive feedback. Yeah. You know who we haven't nice. heard from for a while is old Bonesy. Oh. Bonesy.
Bonesy gave us a message here, an email. He says, Bonesy here. I've been out of town for a while just playing catch up and missed on Miss Podcast. I have not missed one since inception. He's, he's, wow. he's listened to all 220 or 40, whatever we've done. Fucking A, Bonesy. Yeah, Bonesy. You mentioned Frank D'Angelo. <laughs> oh, boy. I have always been too embarrassed to mention that I even know this guy's name. <laughs> I've watched that ridiculous TV show of his since it first began, The Being Frank Show. Oh, wow. It's so bad I find it hilarious. He is without a doubt the most self-centered, narcissistic, self-indulgent moron I've ever seen. Wow. He's also crooked and a depraved son of a bitch. If you uh, can remember, he was the front rent man in, of the short-lived Steelback Beer. Do you remember Steelback Beer with Frank yeah, Delangelo? I do, yeah. And he just had those uh, commercials with Phil Esposito and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> it was just so remember, could, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Buy my beer. And then there's some stuff I don't want to get in trouble for if I say and then he goes, uh, once again, uh, you have displayed some big cojones. And I feel, because uh, I've challenged Frank uh, D'Angelo, that uh, I, uh, my, our show, Life in the Village Hall, is better than this program. That's all I said. God damn right, well, it is. Yeah. To? He responds to a lot of shit. Like, yeah, I know he does. He sues everybody. Crazy. Yeah, he's really crazy. I don't really want to mess with him, but at the same time, it would be super funny. He was just in Hamilton, and they were giving away tickets for concert. For Frank D'Angelo's yeah. concert, where he's playing drums? Uh, he was no, uh, w- it was his band, and they were in he was Hamilton. Singing. He was singing or whatever. Yeah. And oh, he was Frank D'Angelo and friends, and they were just giving away tickets on the street. <laughs> I, I bet like, they oh. were. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, this was just like a couple uh, weeks ago. Yeah, he, well, this is what Bonesy says too. He says, "Be careful that he has a history of litigation with regards to people mm-hmm. that public publicly mm-hmm. besmirch his name." Mm-hmm. Now, I have not said anything to b- besmirch. Frank D'Angelo's name, other than to say that my program is far superior to his. And you're probably a better lover than he is. Uh, I know how to I know how to make love to one person properly. Yeah, but you could parlay that into other women. <laughs> I'm sure they would enjoy it, but but uh, but I'm, I've really focused my efforts on every finite de- detail of one woman, <laughs> so that she would never ha- have any like thing that another person could give her. Like she'll never imagine Frank D'Angelo. No. Not even once. I even drink the velvet too. voice of Frank <laughs> D'Angelo. You're reaching, Joe. You're reaching for this. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's, that's his they, technique. They're in love, man. They, they yeah. get beautiful men. I'm not trying to bring them up. I'm just <laughs> saying. Come on. Just said it once. So <laughs> it you know who else we heard from this week? Uh, Bruce Veltry. Oh, Bruce. Yes, uh, shareholder of the show. He just said uh, Slit Eyes was a fantastic show. <laughs> Loved it. Uh, um, best music I've ever heard at the Dutch Hall. Book the trio is a house band, Sorry Nocturnal Emissions. Oh, good band. Mm. I, I don't they blame are them. scathing review to you guys. Yeah. He he yeah. he compared you. He said you lost. <laughs> Shot us down. Man. You're out. <laughs> it was the combined. I think that was so good though. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, there's only one more person we should check with before we move on and get out of feedback. Who do we like to check in on? Oh, that's our good buddy, the Cheese Lady. Whoa. I thought we were going to go two more. Well, we I do. love that song we, so much. Oh, well, we, we could. We should. Second one. Do one more. Yeah, there's a cheese ladies. Well, we, we always check in with our one of our fans, one of our super fans, uh, Teresa from the Second Mouse in Delhi. She says, Pete, just asking for forgiveness every morning. Why have a hot dog when you can get a steak at home? LOL. Wow. Uh, is anything? Hmm. Maybe for International Women's Day next year, Jane should do shots off the six pack of her choice. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Starts working out. I thought that's where that was going. <laughs> like a motherfucker. I can bring a couple of good looking six packs for you, LOL. So she's defending you. Whoa. Because no, she's I. She's break you guys up. She's my, she's my little spy. No, because I licked, I licked a girl's upper boob. Oh, that one story, yeah. Four times. Yeah, but that was years ago. <laughs> Yeah, he made the same mistake four times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fool me four times. <laughs> Damn it. That's Caught me slipping. The, the story gets weaker the fourth time. but the, the it actually gets weaker the second time, but let's go with the fourth time if you want. told the story the first time. 
No, it was like a it was a tequila shot. So you had to lick it to make it wet, and then put the salt on. You got to lick it off, and then there's two shots. Hey man, I'm oh, on your man. side, but like it, it's not believable. <laughs> there's no sexual pleasure to it. Yeah, yeah you tell yourself know. that as you were getting hard. <laughs> I wasn't getting hard at all. It says you. Got hard licking a woman's chest. It was her upper He's not chest you, area. Dude, like. What? You don't get hard licking no women's sex, chest? Dude. If you looked at girls' necks, yeah, would you get hard I, from them? Yes! <laughs> you're, 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 you're sexually hard, depraved. Right. Like you, My nipples have been hard the moment you said half. there was women in here. Joe, does what? it? One and a half inches. Say what? what? You're 1.6 inches? No, 4.5. She's five. being generous <laughs> over there. That's just She tried to give me that 0. 0.6. Oh, girth. Just girth. We know it's 0.49. A nice sashish. A nice sashish? Yeah. Is that what it is? It's very salty. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know what I heard about schmegma, Joe? <laughs> just, I'm going to slide in here with just a little salty balls now. You know what I heard about schmegma? Is it for your skin? No. No. Y- you I know schmegma. <laughs> I'm, not for, I'm not circumcised. I have lots of schmegma. Li- is it like the, uh, the corner of your no, eye stuff? It's like a little more slimy. It's, it's, it's slimier than the corner of your eye stuff? Like a booger. And you can f- fit more in your pinky. L- not like that, but like a slime. Oh, like a like <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes, like, Where's just like as a wake up call, I'm like, honey, wake up, it's Sunday morning. Just laying my mouth. Make her s- oh. <sighs> wow. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah. never <laughs> understood it, but I never just said if I would circumcise my kids or not no, because I never had. That's an abuse. But man, schmegma free life. Well, schmegma doesn't bother. Schmegma is lubrication. Natural, oh. God's. Uh. God's yeah. Like, it, the word have is schmegma. Have you never had sex with a guy with foreskin? It's like saying that you're happy your girlfriend's got a yeast never? infection. Would you have? Yeah, schme- no like, comment. Yeah. Think of the word. No, but no, listen, yeast infection is something bad. Schmegma is naturally. Schmegma right. doesn't sound right. Yeah, yeah but that's because you- the Japanese that made up the word. Right. Yeah, what is it in Japanese? Schmegma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a question about women now. Not every language is Spanish. Uh, like you can't guy just. He meets an Italian you can't just. Shake uh, me yeah. Yeah, exactly. What's, What's in, in uh, Libya? What's that? What's in Libya? That we call the. Uh, uh, genital <laughs> mutilation? <laughs> <laughs> you got. You have foreskin, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one with foreskin in the whole yeah, world. Yeah, you're the only one. No Don't one. you know a Muslim tradition? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've been friends with me for like yeah, what? Put a bag over your wife's head. No, you know, know like what? You know at the bar mitzvah? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You they know, don't like bar mitzvahs. That's no, Jews. I know they do, but you know, like how Jews have a bar mitzvah. That's exactly the same thing. Well, they have something in the Muslim faith too. That's how like do you know the same so thing. Muslims? And that's when they circumcise them because I'm well read, Joe. But oh, the bar mitzvah is not when they circumcise. Them. No. I hope so. yeah, that is when they circumcise them, eleven or twelve. No, 11 no, or 12. no, 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 no. no. I, 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 I got, cir- I got circumcised at like. Wait, hold on, listen to AJ. Listen to AJ. I got circumcised when I was like two weeks old. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's when the normal. Jews do yeah. it too. Oh. That's, what yeah. that's when the Jews do it too. Because you don't, because you forget, you, because you like. But we had, we had Ada and then the baby can't say stop. <laughs> yeah, that's why you <laughs> circumcise. Yeah, what, uh, whatever. This is like. <laughs> Yo, don't circumcise your babies. If you have a baby, I'm gonna stop you from circumcising them. Why? Because it's wrong. Because you know what? I'm happier now, though. What? How did you know what your life what was? Do you I love my dick. My shit is tighter. Yeah. It's my tight. Shit feels it's great. tight. It's like it's very presentable your at all shit times. Feels great for yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, I get no oh, complaints. You. you know what I mean, Pete? Yeah, but that's why you're so horny, because if they would have cut that skin on, you'd be normal. And you'd exactly. Have exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Let, it, let it breathe, you know? Like it, it feels no, too good true. for that's you. Yeah. What, what it did it with? What's that? That's what gives him the point six. Yeah, that's oh. what gives him the point six. Oh. Oh. It gives him stretch it out. Oh. 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 Yeah. I can hide. That's where I put all my cards in. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. It is something. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, you knew, I knew where you were going. Though. Do you pinch your foreskin and then pee in it and then let it fill up? Yeah, and then that's then a long time ago. What was that like called, a Mike? In yeah, the what was all the experiments you when you were younger? Piss like, bomb. I, 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 had to, like, I, had to, I had to put my pinkies and stretch it out because it wasn't like uh, going all the way back for some reason. So I had to like, really stretch it. When was this? It. Like when I was like 12 or something. Oh, okay. I had to like, keep stretching my foreskin. Which is fun to do when you're 12. Yo, when does it jo- hurt, though? Because like, when you no. first get a rubber when, band, when jo- it, it's hurt to stretch. It doesn't hurt. But then after a while. Fun. Now you're 36. Like now you're 36. And when that it, thing, whenever like, whenever, whenever, it's like, no, 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 no. whenever you hear Joe talk about his genitals, like he's discovering El Dorado. <laughs> Yo, when, like, yeah, whenever you hear Joe, every time Joe talks, think about it. Every time it gets to his genitals. I want my genitals to be out there. Probably never seen his head. I've seen my head. My penis head? I've tried to suck it so many times. It's so, so hard. It's so hard. You're like four and a half inches short. 
<laughs> you, you, I would like to see it. Try to do that. That would be funny to watch. Can I suck my dick? Yeah. Oh, disgusting been, to watch. I've been up like on the wall trying to like climb it up and go over, but it's hard. Like, <laughs> like it's hard to get. Like, it's well, hard. Like, and, you guys and, and, never. Yo, this is pre for the belly. Like, this is like no, I've before always had a belly though. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what I don't like about that, su- that doesn't help. You know what I don't like about the idea of sucking my own dick. Is yeah. sucking my own dick. <laughs> I would suck my own dick. <laughs> yeah, I would like to get my dick what sucked, but I would not like that. to suck. Well, like, my imagine own dick. if you start tasting your own pre cum. Like that's yeah, a you've never tasted your cum. <laughs> Absolutely. Not. Never kiss a girl after you just what if you start arm? tasting that's your own pre? <laughs> tasting your own dick. That's fine because you know it's, it tastes yeah. like it's like kissing your arm, but yeah. your pre cum. <laughs> that's when it gets fucked. So up. far, it's skin. So far, it's just Mike skin. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta go pee. You know, I love how the fact this whole show is kind of centered around Stephen Hawking and his high, like, like these high level thoughts about like meaning of life. Well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta let let the people know who is about to talk about (laughs) it. So we go into like his all, you know, you know, black holes and everything. We want the people to know we don't really know what we're talking about. (laughs) We all think women are black holes. I'm just, I'm just offended that you expected a high intellectual discussion right here. Like. (laughs) (laughs) I I thought you know what you were signing up for. What? Did you go to to business school? I did go to business school, yes. That's good. The University of Guelph. That's That's going to have to do with science. I didn't have anything to do with science. (laughs) Good thing you went to business school because we're about to talk science. Yeah, good thing you walked by the science building on the way to business class. No, I have no interest in Stephen Hawking science, really, to be honest with you. Did you watch that movie? I only have interest in it. I have interest in him. That's a great movie. I didn't watch it. It looks. I don't like sad movies. It wasn't sad. It was a struggle a, of a man. It's got. I think you could cry. I cried a little bit. And what it's part did you cry at, Joe? Uh, when he lost his love. Which one? The first one? Or his first wife. Yeah, but he cheated on him, right? Yeah, but, but it's the second so sad. one. You don't want to cheat on your wife. Like it's hard. Come on. People just force you to do things. Like Stephen, <laughs> smart, but he was <laughs> one thing about Stephen. He's smart I'm dude, but that dude, that dude was a man. He 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 was done with the. Pr- yeah, that dude loved. I mean, like, like even his own mom. Everybody, I was reading quotes that people were given, and everybody's like, "Smart, we're gonna miss him, genius." And his mom was like, "Dude, love pretty girls, but only the pretty ones." Like that was his mom's yeah, quote. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. else is like, "Oh my god, we miss like the smart and, and like, like, his mom's quote." Redheads like, are fucking they're the worst. Yeah, he loves women. Yeah, he loves, and the guy he to be women. able to do it just with your mind to get a woman to. No, but I'm saying, like, he was able to seduce her with just sitting there in a chair talking through a computer with no tone of voice. You know, like, I get away with the tone of voice, right? <laughs> if I lose it, a computer's nice talking for me. It's hard to get pussy, you know? Like, it's like, you look very I you nice. Only had one pussy. What? I you only had one pussy. Yeah, and I hit on her every time I get her. And you have to, I still have to be able to seduce her in order to get her to have sex with me. Because most man, of the time. Good man, Pete. Preach. Good man, Pete. All you young married fellas out there, yeah. take notes, take notes. Oh. If you're not hitting on your wife or you don't have some game with your wife, you still have to have yeah. game take with her. Take notes. So how do you have to like that's slap that ass when she passes by? Yeah, that's the that. hidden on he's talking about. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's, the, that's what he's talking about. I slap her. <laughs> I'm just, I'm I'm just, just preach. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> that's what he meant, AJ. Yeah. Sometimes when you're married a while, it's like uh, clean the garage, AJ. I'm, I'm, no, well, that all. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just used to a certain kind of society. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure. My dad taught me to always slap a woman. Yeah, one time, w- one time I, uh, one Shivering time I, ain't dead. <laughs> one time I built a shoe rack, and I got uh, some of the best love of my life. Yeah. She's around the house. That's foreplay. Is that for your shoes? What? No, it's for her get, shoes. Do you like feet on your penis? No. <laughs> See? Got back to the back again. Feet like, we were talking about some science. Else. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Though I'll tell you a story about this one, gr- <laughs> this one girl. This one girl. no good marriage advice. There is this one girl. <laughs> oh, sorry, Joe. Joe, you want me to tell you about this one girl? Yes. Could <laughs> you <laughs> show her? Good go host. Yeah, no, I'm not going to show you a picture of her uh, until after the show, maybe. I'll show you after the show. That he has a picture of but she uh, she dated a bunch of people I know, and then uh, one time I was fall- I fell asleep under a pool table and I was uh, and I had like I had like cowboy boots on. This was like back in the nineties, and then uh, this girl took off my boots and she started to suck my toes right oh, after a night of drinking, and then I started asking guys that dated her like, did that girl ever suck your toes? And like one time we went on the beach, we went for a walk on the beach and like all kinds of gross stuff through my feet, and then she waited till we got back to suck my toes. Yeah. Damn. And yeah, like I was like, that's gross. After drunk, like I feel like you know, 
Yeah, and then I, feet are gross then too. my follow up question <laughs> that my follow up question has done nastier feet. <laughs> yeah, and then I asked them, did, did you suck your dick? And they said no. That's what you crossed no. the line. Same same thing across the board. Sucked your toes, didn't suck the dick. Hmm. That's isn't, like, that, isn't that kind of crazy? That's weird. You know what's crazy? Because that's, that's, that's just she's a dick's way cleaner. Into that. Yeah. From, like, she didn't just choose that. Like that. That's what's that was crazy forced upon her by an. No, nah, she's just into. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah. What do you think causes that? Causes Nothing. you just to you like just, it's just natural. You just no, like it. Natural you like feet? For, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you do. Like it, it's like you're just, just like, like yeah. what's your natural kink like? Exactly, natural kink. That's what it is. Yeah, that's true. I just answered my own question. Just yeah. she just knows what? No, she's into. What yeah. movie is they showing feet? Yeah. And she's like, I'm into that now. Yeah. What true. cartoon are you watching when you're a little kid? And you're like, damn, I'm into damn, feet I'm now. Like feet. Yeah, yeah. None of it. Man. No, no, it's something else. Like you're watching like like the Hobbits. No, it's like something about like uh, <laughs> the milkman comes in and you're just like lying as a baby on the on the floor, like swatting out of like a it's mobile. Watch it. And then all of a sudden, like the milkman comes in and bangs your mom on the on the kitchen table. <laughs> you know, you know, Joe, like Joe, Joe, Joe's trying to suck his feet. own dick at the same time this girl's trying to suck her own toe. <laughs> like, <just Yeah. laughs> and the baby starts crying. Well, uh, you start crying as a baby when you're. Cause your mom, do you think your mom's getting hurt by this guy? Because he's pounding would, her on the table. I would rather and not then talk the, about the guy mom. just takes his foot and sticks it in the baby's mouth <laughs> and shut it up. <laughs> and then uh, oh, like, that's how every that foot was, thing is. Is oh, like yeah. milkman came in, a milkman came in and <laughs> fucking oh, melted like, the baby what is going with his foot. Like, that was a beautiful. That was a beautiful. <laughs> sorry, that was beautiful. <laughs> That may, that's what happened. That's exactly. Mel no, fucked a baby with a foot. Is that a <laughs> possible title of the show, Mike? Yep. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay, Google search <laughs> Mel fuck a baby with a foot. Okay. Yep. I'm a Dutch all. <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> That'd be big in Turkey again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got one of them in the room. He'll ask. What? Brown people. Exum <laughs> lot. <laughs> no. Turkish people hate Libyans. Do they? they hate I Arabs. Know so much yeah, exactly. They hate Arabs. They don't hate just Libyans. Yeah, they hate all Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Yeah. Yeah. You know that that northern country kind of in the middle. Fuck that place. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be in the middle. I Get think to the like, left. You wanna right. why? You wanna why they hate them? North or why? because 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 AJ goes and fucks all the Turkish women on vacation. That's true. That's true. Oh, and that's then true. they're mad at them. They're like, that's true. That's actually true. That's what the Arabs like. Yeah. That's Yo. See. That's why they got. I like to think like people. You see, like airline. Commercials for Turkish airlines because yeah. yeah. they're trying to get other people there too yeah, exactly. to fuck their women, yeah. not just the Libyans. I like to think like Pete does a lot of research about Libya specifically. <laughs> he knows a lot about <laughs> Libya. He knows a lot about. <laughs> he Libya. knows way too much about this yeah, shit. No. Well, he once finds out about Alberta. Like I haven't heard any uh, facts about Alberta at all. I don't know anything about. Yeah, Alberta. well, Moses from Alberta. Why don't you find out some stuff? About One time Alberta? I was in a Calgary like, that's airport. The, that's the thing. Libya and Alberta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Alberta. Ask, ask me about those two. Anything else? <laughs> not yeah. not, yeah. A, not a fan. More exciting. About what about you, Joe? Can we talk about Cambridge or something? Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that where all the Portuguese people live? Yeah, talk about <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> he always talks about the Portuguese. We gotta bring Alberta into this. I feel like they're so underrepresented. Yeah. Well, there's no. It, what is the Al- Well, you guys, Albertans are supposed to be like a conservative, um, yeah, like the right. Texas of uh, yeah, Jordan Peterson. That's an Alberta. Mm-hmm. But now they have an NDP premier. So they're like, uh, I think all the people move that move there from other parts of the country, and now they're not what they used to be. Yeah, because people are like fed up with See, liberals. That's not as great as what the hell's going on in Libya. Yeah, they're yeah. 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 gross. He keeps fucking other. Go to a different country. Let's talk yeah. about yeah. Libya once more. But that must be. But that would be pretty bad. Imagine if we were just sitting here in Norfolk County, and all the people came from Hamilton and just yeah. like bang Norfolk County girls. Yeah, almost happened. Because they wouldn't bang their girls because they were girls were too like uh, pristine to bang. Or like, no, you just have to marry them to fuck them, which is like who wants to do that? Like. You know, uh, yeah. Too? But oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you <laughs> did. I did it because it, and it was worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, you ever I heard agree. the thing about buying a cow? I feel like you're defending this. You're selling this way too hard. No, no, I think these were Joe. Was it worth it? Totally not worth it. After the second, yeah, she just left. Yeah, well, it's all different for everyone. I one time talked to this guy, and I was like, uh, I don't get how people uh, uh, cheat on their wife. And they go, and the guy tells me, uh, "It's because you love your wife." Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, you ever had it's a so wa- simple? 
Uh, you ever wife you live with that you think is a pain in the ass? You know, and you still live with her because she's a good mom and stuff. No, it wasn't you, Joe. This is another guy. <laughs> so this is like, a totally another guy. You didn't guy. impart he, wisdom on nobody. Yeah, so he pretty much like goes behind her back to find happiness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why those sites like Ashley Madison and stuff do so good is because like both sides of it. There's women at home too that are like they're, my, they're like they love their husband because he's like a good guy and everything, but like. She doesn't want to fuck home yeah. anymore. Am I home alone? The <laughs> Wi-Fi is There is actually, like, an episode on Friends. Like, I'm not a really big fan of Friends, but there's one episode that was really... Admit you're a fan of the, no, it's I'm a, not really. But there was show. one episode that was really good where, like, uh, Joey's dad was cheating on his uh, mom. And then Joey told him, like, if you don't break up with her, then I'm going to tell mom about this. Friends got really but then cool. he did. But then his mother was like, well, why would you do that? Because your, your father was much happier when he was <laughs> cheating on yeah, me, yeah. pretty much. Time. That's an old way of thinking that there used to be like back in the old days when you took divorce seriously, like a Catholic wouldn't let you get divorced. Like uh, you would just like have a mistress and then uh, yeah. go to dances with your wife and your mistress. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, like maybe you that's, go the, to the, that's the life, man. You, know, you, yeah. you used to like buy homes in the suburbs because your work was in the city, right? Yeah, yeah. And you could cheat in the city. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, I gotta stay over in the city. I always say this: there used to be a, t- a, a TV show called Three's a Crowd, and they had. The the it was like the day the newlywed game, but they had like the the husband, the wife, and the secretary. Oh damn! And they would just ask dirty questions, and the secretary knew more about the sex stuff because she banged them more times. Yeah, yeah. And it was just like a joke because it's universally accepted that in the seventies everybody was banging their secretary. Yeah, but yeah. back in the olden days, Doug yeah. Ford, times. Man. like fucking what? Bring back Doug Ford. Bring the old days back. Is that what you think? Is I that? Think you bring it back. Bring back like a, a sexual all harassment. The good shit. Yeah, all the good stuff. Like no sex ed in the school. We have a woman in the room, and I, I want to get her perspective yeah. on something. Yeah, two women in the room. Joe yeah, but one has a microphone. A <laughs> <laughs> Laura, like, oh shoot, what was I going to say now? The we had mentioned. Uh, what were we talking about just before? Joe fucked it up. Yeah, <laughs> Doug Ford. Doug no. Ford. Okay, yeah, Joe's old dick. days, right? Now in the olden days, right? People used to like uh, bang uh, the people at work all the time, right? That's pretty clear. Yeah. Back in the seventies and eighties, even like even into the nineties, when I was working, I'd see like the old guys would still be going to conferences and banging all the full sexual harassment. Yeah, like oh, but it, but it seemed like the women are are Good involved with in it too, right? In the, yeah. Like, do you? S- <laughs> so so the question is the question <laughs> is like what was getting <laughs> Joe. What's the res- like a uh, like a, what's the response? Of, is there any attraction to like a person of power in a workplace? Is a thing to you per- personally? I can only ask you. I can't Me personally? personally. Yeah, like no. it, n- not not to someone at your work, but no. like would their position? No, not make, for me. No, because no. that's not attractive to you in a no. man. Like, so what do you like in a guy? <laughs> I can't tell you. What? <laughs> Why? It's big dick. <laughs> that's big dick. But like, does it make sense? Like in a in a not. You personally, but do you get that girls, women yeah, some, did that at one point? I can see that women at one point may have wanted that or been attracted to that, but I don't think they can are Can you explain? Because we don't understand that. Yeah, I don't get it. I think women, women know that they're better now. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So here's, here's what I, have I, more, like, I got more power than you got. So right. Oh, and, shit. And, and, and oh, feminism, shit. Like, oh, yeah. Feminism is huge, and everybody's yeah. like, women are coming up. Like, I think, like. In those days, 70s, <laughs> yeah. you had to fuck to get to the top. Like, you had to fuck your way up. As, as a woman, maybe. Like, not a lot of them, but because some of, of people, them had the to. Because the gatekeepers were all, yeah, men, all, yeah. p- all perverts, all dudes, yeah. and be like, yo, you can, i give you this job, but you got to. Yeah. But now, not girls now. go, I ain't got to do it. Fucking Harvey Weinstein, yeah. take the motherfuckers out. And now, look at us. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you, you know, like, back when the, in the 70s, that was the first time there was any woman ever. Like, there was a ma- all men at work all the time, and then all of a sudden they let, like, a uh, few in, and the guys just all get crazy. They want to bang them all the time, right? Because they never, like, had to go through a whole work day. Have you ever been, like, a male-oriented? I used to work at the warehouse in Delhi when we loaded uh, tobacco, and it's all men in there in the warehouse. And then, like, one woman would come in to sell tobacco, and oh, yeah. it doesn't matter if she's, like, a 60-year-old, Fucking like, unbelievable. like uh, <laughs> wrinkled-up old mitt, you know? Like, she comes in, every single head in the place turns. It is, and then they're talking about it all day. <laughs> all <laughs> yeah. Day. If anyone attractive walks in that place, like, every single lift truck driver, everybody, Just like, like, stops. Lift truck drivers still has, like, a fresh, like... <laughs> 
rubber on his white t-shirt because like he's so big that the steering wheel rubs on him. But he, like a month later, he's talking to other forklift driver number three. He's like, "Fuck! Did you see that girl a month ago? That yeah. was awesome." Yeah. yeah. I was I was listening uh, to this one guy. He was uh, like in the military, and he was talking. There's like an elephant in the room now because like girls are in the military, and he, he's supporting of this, but and but they're not allowed to have sex, right? Yeah. But you, he was his point was. You can't put men and women in the same room and just tell them, expect them to know. There's going to be tension. Yeah. That creates tension. That yeah. creates thing. And now you want Sexual guys to fight tension. war and, like, pay attention and, like, be disciplined. But you got men and women. Just, it's just automatic. Yeah. Put, put them in the same room for hours yeah. doing things. More like, time than work at, family, at work. Yeah, or, or away from their family at yeah. work. And you, right. there's going to be this. And you got to, you can't, and, like, sexual right, you like, yeah, it's, there's it's certain things, sexual yeah. masculine is bad, but the, the, there are there are just people that meet at work, spend yeah. all that time together, We're have similar experiences, yeah, similar interests. You, you can't expect, and me then to they not, fuck. You can't, you can't even expect me to not like be attracted to that girl that I work with, and maybe ask her out. Not even sexual, right, just be like, hey, you want to grab a beer after this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm actually not do that. Want to do yeah. some push-ups with them? <laughs> Don't you think too that if they tell you it's that you can't date someone from work, can you date someone from your work if you were like if you had if you dated someone from your work, would they like make you uh, have to disclose you, it or something? Do, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Sorry. No comment. Oh. And no comment. Oh, yeah. and I wouldn't give a fuck what my work said. No, really. Uh, okay, cool. If you met someone from work, she definitely fucks people from work. Yeah, she's <laughs> <laughs> what about Wes? Yo, when we asked her before, at your job, would they would they make would they make us think if if you dated someone from work? I don't know, but I think no, Wes, Wes. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, Wes. It's okay. Sorry, Wes. Uh, we don't have any women that I work <laughs> with, so <laughs> oh yeah, makes it easy. somebody might make us think about it. I don't know. Yeah, just a, if a couple of dudes started like uh, making out in the Coke oven. Yeah, yeah, I, but I for different for different reasons though. I don't know how well it would go. Yeah, What's, where do you work? What's Coke oven? <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't oh, know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, you're at the show or, Breaking or, Bad. Or, sorry, why? No, I don't work in Coke ovens. Either. No, I know. I just <laughs> is there something in the in your plant that's called What's a Coke, Coke oven? oven? No, at Stelco there probably yeah. is. Oh yeah. yeah. Where are you at? Esso. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You pump Refinery. <laughs> I don't know the difference between things. So, anyways, uh, but no men, so you, there's, it's hard to get a. So if some woman <laughs> walked in like a salesperson or something like that, everyone's head in the place would turn. It's hunting season. More than likely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have, like, an old secretary or anything there? No, there's a cleaning lady. She's That's my mom, bro. But Say the fuck away. <laughs> Your mom is fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That was the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that was a good one. Let's just end the show on Wes's line. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is fucking gross is not a bad title. <laughs> yeah. Your mom is fucking with, with the baby mouth fucking that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um Edgy. So, guys, you came in here for the purpose of promoting your show. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. <laughs> no. No, no. I can't, no, you I do have a show. We're on the subject of men and women today. Yeah. 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 So, you, yeah, have a, you have a show that's going to be hosted at Yuck Yucks in Hamilton. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Which is a great club. It's going to be on um, May the... May 3rd, 3rd yes. May the 3rd. And then every first Thursday of the month. Except every, for except for June, because we're going to be in Montreal. Be but yeah. but after that, we're, it's going to be every and at, first... In July... Onward. July onwards, yeah, gonna if be it's success, if everyone yes, shows up, yes, it, it will be a success. Yeah. It's uh, you just project uh, positivity yes, in, in the world. Host but, show but, uh, what, what show? We gotta talk about what show the show. Yeah, so like let's let's like, explain yeah. the concept of the show to the. Yeah, so yeah. E uh, every 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 month we have a different theme for yep. a show. Basically, it's we're trying to get people to come and roast each other depending on what the subject or the theme is. Like this, like for May, the theme is exes. Roasting each other. If you have an ex fiance, ex wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, you know, you want it like. You, so they you both stand on stage. Stand together. on stage and just it's roast each other. It's not like you just go up and your bo the ex boyfriend's not yeah. there. No, no, you no. Want, you, you both of you. Both, in the room. both of you need to be there on stage yeah. at the same time. And then you, you and roast has a proper roast. Oh, so, she so you're can, not just trashing somebody. No, you're no, no. It no, doesn't count. You room. have to be both no. present on stage at the same time. Roast each other. Have you booked that event? We are. We are currently looking. We got. Yeah, we're looking for people. To do it as well, because a lot of people like interest. Like I'd go see a show like that, but you want to roast your ex yeah, yeah. In, in front, front of, of them. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, we're so this is uh, we're promoting the show tonight, but we're also asking anybody out to I want to come. Like if even you if want. you have an ex from like five years ago and you guys are kind of cool, yeah, yeah, and you were able to 
you know, college has and say, hey, this just reach out. It doesn't, have to, be, it doesn't <laughs> have to be like, yo, your dick's so small. It, it yeah. can literally just well, be like, just, re- like just, re- or... just reach out and get, you know, get on. Like, yeah, we, our, email, we want people e- to oh, either. Yeah. Pete, this is the email we want people to email at. All right. And you it's can get, uh, you can guess out. who came up with the email. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> the email, if you want to participate, is you roast69 <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> you roast69 <laughs> at gmail.com. If you want, if you. It's a good email. Yeah. Uh, if you, but email. Please email that if you want to, uh, and yeah, or hit us up on our social media. But yeah, and then and then the following month we're gonna do uh, brothers versus brothers, sister versus sister, like mom versus dad. So every month we're gonna have a different maybe, maybe subject depending boss. on. Yeah, Paul, you should uh, you should do it with that girl that uh, you broke up with because her pussy stank too bad. Nice, <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, that's a long time ago. Get some of that there sardine is. vagina. Yeah. Be yeah what, what do they say up here? No folk. If it smells like salmon, keep slamming. If it smells like trout, get the fuck out. <laughs> that's what they say here? That's what they say like, in Norfolk? I thought that's what they said in Norfolk. You no. ever notice, like, Joe, like, says things, like, with the, um, with the, uh, with the, like, the idea that everybody's going to relate to it, but, like, then he says <laughs> then it, and, and everybody's like, all. everybody's like, we've never heard that ever in our life. never heard that. Yeah, yeah, I noticed to Libya, that right you guys, every we time. Say it yeah, it like, Libya, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the Norfolk County saying. It's uh, we've always known it. If it smells like salmon or trout, you're in Dover. <laughs> oh, that's what we've fire Dover. Because Dover women's pussies and then notoriously smell. And that how it's always been, right, Michael? That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! His dad hates oh, Dover. Shit. Eh? <laughs> I don't know why. Well, he just likes to make fun of the. They all smell. They all but yeah, if if you want to be on the show, email us on uh, euro 69 gmailcom If you want to come to the show, that's also great. Yeah, five yeah tickets are five bucks. Yeah, five May bucks. Third. Tickets cheap. Yes, you know, May, May third, and then Hamilton Yuck Yucks. Yeah, perfect. Find us. On any social media, Joe Botello. Exactly, yeah. Like and we're gonna keep our, posting about yeah. it a lot, and yeah. And we'll have a, we'll have a group. Keep Imagine typing in. Keep typing is. in like you roast on Facebook, and eventually we'll have a like page on. Would you want to roast one of your exes, Lauren? Yeah, Lauren. Me? Oh. No. <laughs> we, I do. Is your answers are all no? <laughs> no common and no. No common and no. <laughs> I'm a super fan of no. No fucking way. <laughs> no. But you would want to do it though. Never. No, she's like, you don't even like. They, do you have no contact with any of your ex? No, N- none. I feel like it's just. They all ended bad. Wait, on the majority of them, did you break up with him or? Yeah, all of them. All of them. All of them. How your standards are high? Your standards are very high. Very high. Uh, did he work at Esso the last? <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are. I don't think he worked. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. oh. Yeah. Hey, that was what are oh, your sam- what are your are, are all the guys kind of the same like kind of the same look yeah. kind of same career like you, uh, got, yeah, you have a type would you have and you're like fuck why do I keep fucking these guys <laughs> you're just, you're just vagina is attracted do to you have a boyfriend guys, right you're now trying to sorry no she, she has a man that. friend she, she has a man friend, friend. I have a man friend okay yeah. Yeah. she okay. has sex <laughs> because you got to eat have you been have you been uh, dating the man friend for some time I don't know anything no <laughs> do you oh, like what the fuck? Do, do you guys <laughs> have se- do you guys have sex or something? Uh, I don't know. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, okay, they, okay, they, let's yeah, go. They, we'll change the but subject. She must have okay. known she was gonna have questions okay, not, asked no, of her. It's, it's kind of the point of having a microphone for your yeah, face. She's <laughs> like, I'm gonna come in and listen. All right, but let's no, not. But let's we, not we're gonna ask her opinion by as a person, by not yes. into her personal life. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you. Yes, we said. Oh, Pete, is, Pete is, yeah, no, yeah, for real. Nice, yeah. Okay, so we're g- let's end it. Let's 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 go into this last segment of the show, which we're going to be asking Laura's opinion. Thank you. As a person, as a person. Um, oh, what she thinks. What she says. These are all quotes from Stephen Hawking himself, ah, right? Perfect. Which should be some. Uh, so we're going to do something smart to end it, right? On humans and our place in the world, Stephen Hawking said, "We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet on a very average star." We can understand the universe, but we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. I believe this is this this. I believe the simplest explanation is there's no God, no one created the universe, and no one directs our fate. Uh, we are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. We cannot remain looking inwards at ourselves on a small and increasingly polluted and overcrowded planet. That's long-winded. 
Right. Right. Stephen Hawking. Fuck. The guy just is a that's chatterbox. A is what he is. He's that's a, a chatterbox. That's a lot of blinking. It's a, a lot of blinking. Just ima- so ima- the box that he talks about. Yeah, just that's imagine, perfect. like, that's just perfect. imagine the guy that was you sitting down writing this. What? The whole time. Jeez. Blowjob, spit or swallow, and that's the only thing <laughs> I could think of. Holy yeah. fuck! Somebody's Personal horny. Power. Power. Personal power. Power. Somebody is horny. Personal power. Holy shit! Personal power. Peter's like. Peter's well, like a, Peter's like you, I wasted I wasted that Stephen Hawking saying we're not, <laughs> we, were, we were trying to be so smart. He's like we're gonna end it smart and then when we went, I have like, spit up low jobs. Right, right back to dick. Yeah. Yeah. See what you do, that was a good one. I like that. I didn't expect it and it was really no. It's Pete's voice. Pete's voice is so smooth. She's like, oh, blowjobs. Pete was like, yeah, the universe. She's like, yeah, blowjobs. That's what I want to talk about. Yeah, you stop using your sexy voice. The universe. Right back to dicks. <laughs> Let's try this one. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. Oh, it's a shorter one. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dover Vagina is always stinky for some reason. <laughs> Wait, is she supposed to say it is? Uh, what is she supposed to be? You just Same you thing. Oh, what did that make you Same think thing. of? Spit or swallow? Same Jesus thing. Christ. Man, you really you have that, that in your head. What do you really think? Seriously, what was that one about? Yeah, what was that about, Pete? <laughs> oh, the greatest. It, it means, that one is about. What's it mean? What's it mean? That means that, like, uh, if you're. It, it, like, it's worse to. It's better to admit that you don't know something. Right. Yeah. Than to pretend you know it and oh. walk around like an Joe, idiot. Joe, Joe, take Joe, notes. Joe, take take notes, notes, Joe. Yeah. Better be assertive Thanks. than to be unassertive. Oh, Assertiveness doesn't nope. mean you know things. Nope. You have to admit what you don't know in order to be nope. smart. Nope. Exactly. That's not what exactly. It is. exactly. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm. That's my stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's wrong. Oh, sorry. Even on that sorry, thing about no, my, yeah. it sounded like uh, Stephen Hawking was an atheist in that first spit and swallow yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. But it, he didn't. He <laughs> said he goes. I believe the simplest explanation is there's no God. So he's saying that if you're simple, mm. that's easy for you to believe. You're trying to simplify that's the whole thing. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what he's saying. Exactly. No, not. He was a full blown atheist. No, he so wasn't. He said that he atheist. said he said he couldn't prove it, and he just said that. Uh, but he understood his own ignorance in saying that he has limitations as a human to be able to God. prove God. I like Pete's. No, he says the simplest war. explanation this is dude, that this dude like. like I've seen. There's no way he believes. He researched. No, he didn't believe in God. He said dude. he couldn't disprove God. He well, that's to, different than saying he pretty he much tried to find no, God. No, I didn't say he believed in God. Was, I, I, I thought he was an atheist. Blown atheist. Atheist. Oh, you exist. Better did you say? Oh. Hey, we're the liar, and we might end it right there, folks. Oh yeah. Now this is actually a Stephen Hawking quote, and I'll end it on this one. Those first two weren't. No, they were too. This one doesn't sound like it was. It's not a game. It's a Rorschach test. I always thought people would talk about it because it's fucking stimulating that you would say. <laughs> it was uh, stimulating already. Like, oh, like. Yeah, uh, it was stimulating. Uh, all she thought Joe's was like, how can I. Laurie's you looking for a new was, man. Was, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> oh, my chair is vibrating. Oh. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. That's the end of the quote. Yeah, that's a good that's Life true. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. Yes. And he's dead, and we all had a good laugh at his expense. Yeah. Proved Re- it. Rest in peace, Steve Hawking. Rest in peace, Steve Hawking. Rest in peace. He was just like a head in a jar, creepy as fuck, man. But there's actually a theory that you uh, that you that we're all just heads in a jar, and we're just sitting around, and then then our brains work, and our universe is just whatever our brains are thinking. This is I watched this as Stephen Hawking thing too, and then we're all just heads in a jar like Stephen Hawking. What? And then our perception, like if we eat a hamburger, it's just like like electric charges that are making us yeah. think that that's a hamburger, and that really we're just a fucking head in a jar that's perceiving all this stuff, and none of it's really happening. And there's no way to disprove that theory. That's Stephen Hawking saying that. Yeah, but it's not his theory. It was it, it was someone else's theory. And Pete watches after the Libyan videos he downloaded. I do research for the show because I take it seriously, Joe. What head is in the jar? So All of our heads. Oh, my God. About like like everyone right, here is just a head. You guys yeah. just got to start playing loud like with everybody's voice. Like, you would just be a head in a jar head. somewhere. Like, in a big s- warehouse of heads. At least like I a can brain. still suck dick. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it's just, like, because you think you're feeling and seeing something. <laughs> she loves giving head. I love this. She, she loves giving head. You don't know her. Yeah, exactly. You don't wow. know her. I'm, just, I I'm just a head in a jar. It doesn't mean anything, <laughs> what I'm saying. No. Spit or swallow? Just, uh, Another head in the jar. Yeah, there you go. Everybody, I'd like to keep it going for the closing. I like it. 
Everybody, I'd like to thank you all for listening live from the Dutch Hall. I want you to support our great guests, AJ Bates, Michael Moses, and Joe Patello. Go look them up on Instagram and Facebook and uh, Twitter, whatever they got. Find these guys, follow them, find out what shows they're doing, and go watch these guys. They're funny. And also go see their show on the first Thursday of every month, except for June, at Hamilton and Yuck Yuck. It's going to be great. If you want to roast your spouse, get them at, uh, is it roast your? You roast 69. You roast 69. But until that, you can also give us some feedback at livefromthedutchhealthgmail.com. But until next week, we will see you in T. See you next Thursday. And thanks a lot, Laura, for coming in. Super fans are always welcome. Thank you for having me.